Good morning, Bobby Lee here with Hurricane Creek Farms. Got several things to do today we want to show you. Uh, you may be able to tell out here behind me, kind of potential for some nasty weather today. I think we're supposed to get a rain this morning. I think it's a nasty thunderstorm this afternoon. So that may definitely change some of our plans as the day goes on, but yeah, expecting damaging, I think looks a damaging wind, large hail, and potential for tornadoes. So stay tuned, this may get really interesting. But uh, yeah, that may get like a storm chaser kind of vibe to it. But gonna get some calves turned out on pasture today. Kind of show you them, go through all that. Uh, talk about we just got a, a load of 48 in two nights ago. But yeah, spring I guess is not officially here until this weekend. About three more days. But gonna be in the mid 70s today with severe thunderstorms. So definitely has a spring-like feel. So give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and let's dive right in. Don't know how well you can tell, but right down there, that is a new baby calf. I gotta get out there and check on that one here after a while, but but yeah, we've had several new calves. Uh, we will feature them in this video, I keep saying that. We'll go out there, um, we'll get that one tagged at some point. But yeah, I was looking at that one, I was like, I, like I'm pretty sure that's a cow that hadn't calved yet, and yeah, sure enough, that is a new calf. Um, and thankfully, even though it's stormy weather today, it's warm. Shouldn't, shouldn't run into any real major issues there. Uh, we'll make sure, especially before we get those nastier storms this afternoon, she doesn't have him or her here in the low lying areas that could get underwater. But yeah, check on those calves as well. But headed up the road, we're going to go ahead and move some of those calves into pasture. Um, and I, I guess they've been on pasture, we've had them kind of pinned up in a smaller lot. We'll go ahead and get them turned out. And then of course these storms, you know, if you watched the last video, you know, we just checked all those pastures. <sighs> yeah, for any damage, any trees that have fallen on this winter. And so it looks like, uh, depending on how, how windy it gets this afternoon, how much damage we have, may have to go right back to do that again pretty much immediately. Make sure we don't have any new spots where they can get out. All right, so we got a couple of stragglers over there. They're taking their sweet time. You can see we got, rest of the calves right there behind us. Um, I'm gonna move them. One of them have plenty of pasture um, really to, to hold them for a while with it just being at least 26. But um, so I think they've got some new grass to bring them some feed, of course, to help them along. But um, I do apologize. I know when it's real windy, audio quality sometimes goes to total crap. I may have to do a good bit of filming right now, or at least this morning. I'm inside the truck of the barn somewhere where we can get a little bit out of the wind. But. All right, so they were all eager to come in there. Yeah. Predictably, some of them are more interested in that new grass than they are in uh, eating the feed. Clover in here, uh, a lot of white clover. Uh, there's some red clover in the pasture. Uh, we've got a lot of crimson clover. In the and fescue's really coming on strong. Uh, All right, so there's our brand new baby. Uh, out of the first half effort, right? Anyway, yeah, I had a couple of minutes. That barn we had delivered a couple weeks ago were the materials. Uh, the builder's supposed to meet me here in about 10 minutes. So, well, I had a few minutes, thought we'd run here and check on them. And as you can see, not really laying in the best spot for when you're expecting uh, heavy rain right along this ditch. But we're about to disturb them anyway, um, get that thing tagged. So uh, we'll move them and uh, see what we've got, see if we're dealing with a, a bull or a heifer, which 
I guess that's not politically correct because technically I should wait and, and let it determine what its own gender identity is. But of course we all know that ain't the way nature really works. He's got a penis, he's a bull. He has a, a vagina, he is a cow or a heifer. She would be a cow. Heck, I'm getting my pronouns wrong as we speak. Anyway, we'll check it out. So, number 108, so just the eight thing. heifer calf but uh yeah good gentle heifer there it just had a heifer so good mama protecting the calf but not trying to eat me for breakfast for messing with it but um yeah we'll show you the rest of them over there they're kind of all laying over on the hillside as far as all the spring calves all right so there i believe is all the spring calves yeah there's one two three up the hill Four's laying right there next to his mom. You really can't see it. Five, one, two, three, four, six. Well, there's six anyway. You can see right there, I always beware of the one calf that doesn't have a tag, or um, better yet, beware of its mother. <laughs> that, that striped cow right there that's walking back off. That's the mother of the tagless calf, and she will try to eat you alive. Yeah, there's our seven calves. There's one, two, three, four, five up the hill there, six laying right next to mama. That was actually just born yesterday, number 107. And then seven right there, and then the eighth one right there. And All right, so true to form, we have a change of plans. The This weather has really moved in a little earlier than I thought it would. We're not gonna be able to get those calves moved, just not gonna have time um, before it gets too nasty. It's gonna be too wet. Um, I think we can get them, get them loaded and out of my place, but getting them into my brother's place uh, may be an issue. He doesn't have any gravel um, yet really on his drive. Um, it had been really dry, um, relatively speaking, but it has rained a bunch. So I wanted to give you an idea of how much it has rained just in the last 45 minutes, maybe an hour out here in the pasture um i see our new calf she's got him still not far from that ditch but in a decent spot where he's not in danger of drowning or anything but there they are down there you can see all that bottom ground of that pasture pretty well underwater and then i can get rid of the fence yeah the waterfowl are enjoying this good day to be a duck they say or a goose looks like we've got ducks and geese out there in our bottom <laughs> yeah. yeah some yeah there the ducks go yeah ducks and geese everywhere out there no so, yeah kind of glad the cows aren't out there yet which we knew it wasn't quite ready for them anyway in the triticale but they would track it up mud it up tear it all to pieces so Thinking maybe by this weekend we'll be able to uh, turn them out there next week, maybe at the latest, which will probably probably this weekend before we can try to move those calves again back on that subject. It's just, I don't think it's supposed to rain anymore after today, but it is just, and I, but, and I don't think it's done yet for today. Um, feeders hanging out right there. But yeah, best laid plans. He and I were talking, probably should have just moved them last night or yesterday evening. Time has changed, so you have that extra hour of daylight in the evenings. We could have gotten it done. Um, that would have made for a, a late evening moving cows, but they'd be there, they'd be on grass, they'd be all spread out. It'd be a little better situation than where they are right now. That uh, 
Zach train's gonna be kind of put to the test because you know it's it's relatively warm. I mean, you can see I'm wearing short sleeves, but they're rainy, wet. You know, just been through a slail barn, hauled. And now they're they're in there and the, you know pinned up, kind of close to one another. But it is what it is right now. We'll uh, get them out of there, get them moved as soon as conditions will allow. Let's see how much it's rained so far. Uh, it's like just a little over an inch, and I'd say almost all that came just within the last 45 minutes or so. All right, so good morning again. We fast forwarded about three days, got much prettier weather now. Um, it did cool off a little bit after that storm front moved through. Um, we've gotten kind of spoiled by those 70 degree days, but um, today is a lot nicer than the last couple days of being. Gonna warm up into the 60s, I believe. But my brother's about to meet me here. He's bringing another trailer. Um, that way we're not gonna have to load as heavy either. But get get these boys over here moved to his place and. Uh, so I'll all be out on pasture here within another hour or two. So I'll be better for them. Not ideal that we kept them pinned up a little longer um, than we had originally planned, but it just, the weather absolutely did not cooperate. And uh, we just weren't going to be able to get them, get them into this place. Um, the wild man over there making as much noise as he can. So So we made it over here, made it in with absolutely no problem. Dump these boys out on some fresh green grass. Easy does it, fellas. Easy, easy. Light little wipe out there. All right, get his truck backed up and get them unloaded. And I think we'll be able to go last 21, be able to put these on this one trailer. It was not muddy at all getting in here, so get out of his way and get dressed up unloaded. One of our partners is sleeping on the job. And so we got them all unloaded. Uh, they're all right over there in the pen. Drew's about to turn them out and they'll be on pretty much pasture where they're gonna spend the next, what, seven, eight months maybe. Um, let the kids play for a minute. Uh, got Brown Dog and Brittany with us, but anyway, this is what it's all about. This is this is why we do what we do, putting cattle on grass, um, you know, the way God intended them. Um, and it turned out to be a beautiful day. Um, yeah, just just 
really the exciting time of year for us. Not just for the stalker steers, but on the cow herd as well. But we got the drone up in the air. Um, we're gonna see so he's turning them out, get a little footage of them. Um, hadn't really ever flown the drone over here on this property, so get some good uh, images for him to have. But um, we'll turn them out and get uh, get them grazing. You can see he's got good fescue and orchard grass mix out here. There's some clover in here as well. Um, of course, Lespedes is not doing anything yet, but got a lot of Lespedes in here as well. Um, there's some nice clump of clover there, but there those boys are out there doing what he bought them to do. And that's turned grass into beef. You know, you got all these you know, fake meat companies trying to figure out all these ways to turn plants into something that is not meat, but they want to call meat when, heck, the ruminant has been doing that since the beginning of time. So I don't know why we try to overcomplicate and, and, or overthink and complicate things sometimes, but that right there is the world's perfect mechanism for turning plants into meat. So good deal, got that accomplished. We're gonna head back to the other side of the county now, do some more chores. The uh, plan is kind of do a repeat um, this week as far as buy about that many more that'll be on our place eventually, or, or hopefully just in the next few days, really. Um, get work through them. We gotta check on cows too. We gotta, about halfway down with the cabin, check on some of them, but anyway, we appreciate you watching. Yeah, keep keep tuned in for the next videos. We're gonna be turning cows out on Trudy Kaylee. Um, I'm sure doing some more cabin. Um, I'm sure introducing you to some more steers, ideally. But we appreciate everybody watching. Um, thank anybody who shares it. We really appreciate that. The thumbs up helps the videos. Of course, if you're subscribing, that's fantastic. But as always, remind you to eat beef and God bless.